Welcome to the Great Girlfriends Podcast, where we discuss life, love, laughter, and everything in between. We're your hosts. I'm Sybil Amuti. And I'm Brandis Daniel. Happy hey, holidays, hey. Great Girlfriends. Oh, oh my gosh. The most wonderful the- time. Well, actually, this is not the most wonderful time of year, actually. Summer, for me, is the most wonderful time of year. I know. For some people, this is the most stressful time of the year. It is. I mean, there's a lot going on. I'm, well, we talked about this before we even got on. But what's up, great girlfriends? Before before we dive into all of that, oh, happy holidays, great girlfriends. Happy holidays. Let Listen. me tell you, Sybil. I, why do I feel like it's been so long since we've spoken to the great girlfriends, just us two? I know. It has. It's been, it's been a lot. We miss a lot y'all. of people on the sofa. I know. <laughs> we miss y'all. We miss y'all. It's been a while since, since we just, it's just been us. Just us. Yes. So. It's been a minute. Hey, y'all. There's so much going on. OMG, OMG. First of all, I want to thank everyone that's been shopping on the Great Girlfriends community store. Because in the Facebook group, The Great Girlfriends, we ask you, what did you want in terms of products? And so many of you responded with ideas um, for things that you wanted. And so we got the products developed, put them in the community shop, and they are moving. So I do want every single one of you listening to head over to shop.thegreatgirlfriends.com and grab at least two things for your great girlfriends for the holidays and there is a discount code available on the website so take advantage of that um but grab some stuff for your, for your great ne- girlfriends for the holidays that necklace is so cute so that Isn't is such cute? a great gift for a friend yeah that's so yes cute. and i i mean i have so this is so funny so i personally ordered the legend sweatshirt and the love sweatshirt Sam, my son, has taken my legend sweatshirt, okay? So it's no longer mine. My child is now rocking my legend sweatshirt. That is so funny. And, <laughs> <laughs> so, so I need to order another one. And my love sweatshirt has been selling on the streets. So when I'm out shopping and running my errands, I am literally getting all kind of you know, where'd you get that sweatshirt? It's so cute. I love the color. It's so cute. It is so cute. Great girlfriends, every last one of you need that sweatshirt. Yes, yes, yes. Grab it. And it's so cute because um, a few great girlfriend minis want one. So we got to figure out how to get our, our mini great girlfriend products going. So Exactly. And major drum roll. Give me a drum roll. <laughs> Wait a minute, Brandis. That was that was a really great drum up. roll. That was a great drum roll. <laughs> that was a sorry drum roll. I don't know how to roll my tongue, so that's it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Give give it to me again. I'm gonna take it. All right. <laughs> you missed the good one. The first one was the best one. Okay. Do it again. Give me a strong one. Okay. Let me see if I can roll my tongue. Hold on. <laughs> See, okay, that was good. Song. Okay, that okay, was a go. great drum roll. The Great Girlfriends Conference tickets are going on sale on Friday. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Just in time for you to grab a ticket for yourself and one for your great girlfriend. So we told you the date before. I'm going to say it again. The date is June 12th through 14th in New York City. This is the fifth annual conference. Doers and Disruptors is, is literally my favorite time of year because the conference Absolutely. is a family reunion. So it is. A chance for us to get with all the women in the community, our dynamic speakers, our brand partners are always the absolute best. And we just have such a good time for three days. So um, the early bird discounts are banging. We got $99 tickets. Okay. Wow. Ninety nine dollar wow. early bird tickets. Now let me let you know the regular price on the ticket is two sixty seven. Mm. So when I say this is a deep, deep, deep discount, this is a we love you. 
we want a certain number of you to get your early bird ticket discount. Okay? So listen, on Friday when these tickets go on sale at the Great Girlfriends Conference dot com, I mean listen, if I were you, I'd bundle up five of them and just start like passing them out for people's birthday gifts. You know, just uh, just because I love you, great girlfriend gifts, but literally ninety nine dollars, and it's a limited number of tickets available at that price. So, so but those are going to sell out so fast. I know, I know. Great girlfriend conference. They are going to sell out fast. I'm telling you, June twelfth through fourteenth, the Great Girlfriends Conference dot com. Early bird tickets are on sale Friday. You heard it here. You're not going to hear it in too many more places, but do grab. There are a limited quantity available at that price, and then we go into the next price point. So definitely grab them. I love it. I love it. Great girlfriends, if you have ever been to the conference, if you haven't been, you've heard of it, it is the ultimate for connection with other like-minded women, the ultimate. You're going to get so much. You're going to leave with your heart absolutely full. You're going to make new connections. I'm still... I'm still catching up with all of my new connections that I made at the conference this year. Like, still, we're still in touch. Yeah. So I yeah. cannot wait, wait, wait for you guys to get your ticket. I love it. And yeah. at that price, that's going to sell out. And there's only so many seats. So do not there's wait. So many seats. Don't wait. Yeah. June 12th through 14th in New York City. Boom, pal. You heard love it here. So love it. News, back to this year, back to, back to how this is like the craziest, you know, a week of my life and your life and probably every other mother, wife, traveler, businesswoman. <laughs> this has got to be like the most pressure filled, you know, busy, busy, get stuff done or not week of the year because you want, you know, I told Brandis before this episode started, I said, listen, my kids almost didn't have Christmas because I have forgotten to get that list managed. The great their Christmas list. Girl. So, you you're not gonna leave Sam and Dilly with no Christmas gifts. I mean, well they, they are truly they they set up now because I was up till one AM surfing the internet trying to figure out what some of this stuff is. I'm like, what is this you know, what <laughs> this? I didn't even know what some of this stuff was. So we Oh it my god. Someone literally put up a meme and I have to repost it. But you know the OJ car chase scene on the uh, 101 in L.A. from the 90s? Yes. So there was OJ's white Bronco, and there's like 10 police cars chasing. And it says, it, it, the meme says, every mom at this time of year. So the mom is the OJ car, and the cars behind the mom are like a uh, holiday party for kids, Christmas list, laundry, travel plans, business, uh, uh, you know, all the <laughs> – all the things that, that are hilarious. chasing us this year. It's so much. And like you said, we could either get it all done or we either say, eh, it's a wash. I'm telling you, that's the place where we're at right now. And great girlfriends, like this week's episode is about finishing out the year strong because if you're anything like me, you're in full on holiday mode. I'm in full on vacation mode. Then yesterday I was sick. So all I want to do is chill and relax. But there are lots of things that need to get done this week so that I can make sure that I walk into 2020 the right way. So, yep. Sybil, and then not to mention all the other things that Sybil just talked about, all the holiday, everything that needs to be done. So part of you, we already know it, just wants to check out. Girl. We already know it. Yeah, but, it's but we're here. Yeah, so we're, we're here to help. We're here to help. It can, it can be completely overwhelming or stimulating. And so many of the list of things that are right now responsibilities and then some things are, you know, later responsibilities that we've just kind of stacked into one big bucket and it makes it feel like everything has so much pressure, you know. And what mm -hmm. I'm learning, Brandis, is, is to lift the pressure, is to lift the pressure and decide what's important. It's literally about prioritizing, prioritizing. Because yeah. last night I had five things I could have been doing that were all uber important at the same time. But if you don't put a sequence to your planning, one that allows you to pace yourself and get results at a, uh, in a positive time frame, then you're definitely going to mount pressure even later. For example, if I didn't stop last night 
and manage the Christmas list, those things have to be shipped by another vendor that's outside of my, uh, you know, outside of my hands. I can't handle the shipping. Then next week would have been even worse because I would have been running around trying to pick up last minute raggedy box open gifts for my kids and they would have been disappointed. So I had to stop the other things that were valuable but were not as essential as managing things that need, um, that have more of an urgency to them. And that was yes. more of a now thing. Yeah. I love that, Sib. I think, um, so y'all know how we love a good number list. So I'm going to say number one is prioritization. Would you, would you, would, is is that it, Sib? Okay. That was it. What's number, now? At number two, I'm going to say um, uh, mindset. So Really, at this point, what you want to do, I'm sure, is listen to some good old Christmas music, some good boys to men, have you some hot cocoa. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you what happens when you do that. <laughs> you don't feel like doing anything. So the way to finish and get what you need to get done is to put on something that's inspirational, motivational, something that's going to push you to finish getting it done write out your goals for what you want to accomplish by the end of this week and just set aside like three hours to just get that done. And that is not easy to do because if you're like me, you're fighting against everything in you that just says, Brandis, it's, it's the holidays, just relax. But if you want to get it done, you've got to start, you've got to change your environment. So change what you're listening to, change what you're writing down, um, have conversations that are productive right now and just kind of flip the switch with the productive piece. Listen to the music that gets you hype and ready to go. You know, some down south Memphis rap, if you're me. Uh, for somebody <laughs> else, it might be listening to Gary V or listening to Grant Cardone or someone that just gets you going so you can finish out this year strong. But turn off the Christmas music when you want to be productive. It's not going to do that it. That is so funny. That is so funny. I love it. You know what? I've started, I mean, I've probably done this all year, but even more so this time of year, I have delegated and automated. So I oh, delegate out, you know, from the the biggest to the smallest thing. If someone's helping hands can carry it, then I am paying for them to handle. Somebody come and do this laundry. Somebody come in here and, and manage these kids' schedule for, for a week or two. Someone else can um, order gifts for me online. You know, the the other gifts that need to get done, the teacher gifts, the school party gifts. You know, Brandis, yours is coming. I'm just going to – I'm going to wait until she can chime <laughs> in on these things. Because, see, Sky, Sky's in pre-K four right now. But I'm going to wait until she gets in the thick of it. I'm going to wait until oh, she gets in the thick. And then you're going to be calling me talking about, how much did I spend on the teacher? How much did I do? What's the, 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 oh, my God, all of that. But anyway, how much did you spend on a teacher? That's a good question. We'll talk about that in a whole nother episode when your okay, time. Okay, oh, you, okay. you are you there now though? Do you really want to know? I'm already there. I yeah, I do want to know. I well, want to see if I'm on, on track. I've been told that I'm generous with teachers, but the way okay. I look at it is these people are with my kids all day, and they're steering right. my kids all day. And I need for my kid when my kids cut up, I need my kids to have favor. I right. need my <laughs> so so you know. The teacher gets about a fifty dollar gift from me, and the okay. teacher's okay. assistant gets about a thirty. But okay. my, but then the I I love the secretaries at the front of the school, so you know everybody gets a little something. The principal gets a gift. The nurse gets a gift. Anybody who's you know the library the librarian, the you know all the other special teachers they also get a gift, and they get like twenty five right in that range. Okay. See, I was thinking if I should get the secretary or something. All right, you just confirmed it. I do. All right. I do. And, I mean, my sister, who's an, who's an educator, and she, you know, has been an educator forever, she was like, girl, a $10 Starbucks card, because that's two drinks, you know, is really good. So they're out here winning if they're at my school. That's what, but, they, but let me tell you something. When I need something, let me tell you, I am covered. <laughs> I am, I'm I sure. Am, absolutely. <laughs> The rapport I have of them, it, it, I mean, it's solid. I'm not saying because it's good Christmas gifts. They probably could be just amazing people as well. However, I feel like when you pad and love on people a little more, they remember you a lot better. That is so true. That is so, so true. I just That's make so it my good. business to, to kind of, you know, cushion them and, and love on them. 
Um, and some, I mean, the secretaries, the two uh, assistants in the front of the school, I gave, I both, I gave them both orchids they could put on their desk in the, in the office just to add some color. Okay. So, and they still have it. That was two years ago. They still have those plants. Wow. So that wow. to me is like okay. So I just kind of give or books, you know, good books to study if you know one of them is passionate about something or you know things like movie, Fandango, movie dates, you know, all that stuff. I love it. I yeah. love it. So, so delegate. Look, so I look, then, I got you all off your thing. Yes, delegating the automation. Yes, <laughs> that's number three. Automation is me really getting stuff sent shipped from a third party source has nothing to do with me I, I order a gift from a company that can ship it out box it out get it done i schedule it out in advance i'm making sure that it's not it, if it has to pass through my hands it's more than likely going to get dropped unless it is the priority of my family right now so for right now it's automated i got a system that's passing out that's shipping out gifts i got a system that's scheduling for next year I'm just That's doing so all of that, even in terms of scheduling appointments for January. I don't schedule January and January. That's too late. <clears throat> Excuse me. I start delegating out, scheduling my doctor's appointments and scheduling my, my top-of-the-year lunches and all that stuff. Got all that stuff delegated and automated. That's so good, Sybil. So good. Okay, so you have to share your system with us at some point. I will, for sure. Um, I say number four is accountability. It always works. So if there's somebody who you can be accountable to and say, hey, here are the few things I want to get done before the end of the year, because there's so much things, so many things, so many ways that it can get lost. But if you've got some person, so for me, I've told my assistant, here is my goal, here's what I want to meet. And so she's helping me to meet that goal. And so that, that accountability really helps to keep pushing me forward when I want to stop. I love it. I love it. It, it, it. I mean, listen, you can't live without it. Accountability, you need it every every month, every day, but that holiday season, for real, it's like I need somebody to stay on my – and I have people, like you said, in my ear saying, hey, I know you said you're going to knock that out. Where are you with it? Yes. So, yeah, I love it. I mean, listen, I think if you run through those four – you're solid because we've got two weeks, and while, you know, many people are taking the last two weeks off, they're also taking off means I'm taking the time to do what I want to do. It doesn't necessarily right. mean I'm not working. I'm working on what I want to work on. So <laughs> with that being said, you know, as entrepreneurs, you know, it's important if you have relationships with your clients and with, um, you know, vendors and brands that you start to really – finesse those relationships and even warm their hearts and souls in preparation for things you want to do in 2020 by just finessing these last two weeks and just getting in front of them with considerate messages and making sure that you are, you know, understanding that people are pacing themselves. So you really want to make sure you are considered when it's time to do business. Absolutely. And you know what's funny? So I was like, I feel like for the last few years, everyone has shut up, sh shut down shop by now. But right now, oh my everybody's still yeah. going full throttle. Like, oh my I, gosh, remember, yes. I don't remember a holiday. Usually, I think after that first week of December, forget it. The last three are a wash. Now, everybody's still on email. Everybody Like, it, it has not shut down. Yep. So there no. is time to still make some things happen. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, I mean, here's the thing about that, too. While everyone else is quiet, you can take a few hours out of your day early morning and get ahead of things and start scheduling out emails that need to go out in January, putting them in a draft. I mean, there's just a few little things you can do that'll ease your mind so you can truly celebrate Christmas and, and enjoy your family during the holiday. Absolutely. I love it. This was good. Great girlfriends. Look, y'all know we want you to win, right? They know we want them to win. We got to win. We have to have to have to win. Right, so we're giving y'all tips that we are taking ourselves this week. Yeah, so don't forget to write those down, to consider them. Don't necessarily use them in order if you don't have to, but use the ones that are most valuable to you. And then after you do that, after you delegate, automate, schedule out, prioritize, get accountability, get on over to thegreatgirlfriendsconference.com on Friday. Yes. <laughs> and make sure... You get 
your conference ticket and shop the great girlfriend shop at shop.thegreatgirlfriends.com and have a really, really, truly productive last shop around for Christmas. That's, that's what I want. Love it. We love y'all so much. Out there. Love y'all so, so, so very much. Oh my goodness, so many amazing things in 2020. And uh, yeah, we're just happy to be a part of your journey. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode of The Great Girlfriends. Yes, if you enjoyed this episode, please share this with three of your great girlfriends. Absolutely. And make sure you jump onto iTunes right now and leave your review. Let the world know how you feel about our five-star show. Absolutely. And we like to end our episodes by thanking our husbands. Thank you, Kwaku. Thank you, Mr. Rich Daniel. And then we thank the minis. Thank you, Sam and Dylan. And thank you to Miss Sky. And thank you, great girlfriends, for trusting us as your go-to source for everything life, love, and laughter. Make sure you listen each Wednesday on iTunes, Stitcher, Podcast Bean, Podcast Republic, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and every other podcasting service. Yes, and please check us out on our social. You can follow us on Instagram. Instagram, The Great Girlfriends, on Twitter, The underscore Great GFS, on Facebook, The Great Girlfriends, and please do join our Facebook group with over 16,000 Great Girlfriends. Yay! And that is The Great Girlfriends. Awesome. Make sure you post your questions online, share with your friends, keep listening, and, and keep, keep being a great, great girlfriend. girlfriend. I'm Sybil. I'm Brandis. And we're signing off. Peace.